Have you ever felt like life just keeps throwing hard stuff at you? Like every day is a battle and you're always on the losing side. You're not alone in this. Everyone goes through tough times. But what really matters is how you handle these challenges. You see, sometimes people might not believe in you, especially when things get really tough. But here's a secret. You have the power to prove them wrong. Not by showing off or making a big scene, but by growing stronger and wiser on the inside. When I was at my lowest, it felt like the world was against me. I was sad, confused, and felt really weak. But then, something clicked in my mind. I realized I didn't need anyone else to say I was doing okay. I had to believe in myself. That's when I started what I call quiet time. This is all about turning down the volume of the world, no more getting lost in what everyone else is doing or thinking and starting to pay attention to myself. It's tough, trust me. When it's quiet, all your worries and fears start to shout loudly, but facing them is what makes you stronger. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to make the greatest comeback of your life. Stay with us till the end to transform yourself in 2024. Let's begin. 1. Start your quiet time. As Marcus Aurelius once said, nowhere can man find a quieter or more untroubled retreat than in his own soul. This is your time to step away from the noise of the world. Turn off social media, stop worrying about what others are doing, and start focusing on yourself. It's not about disappearing, it's about discovering who you are. What do you like? What makes you happy? What kind of person do you want to be? Use this time to really get to know yourself. 2. Learn a new skill. Epictetus once said, We should not, like children, be led by the nose with externals, but like men, grow our own internal resources. This is your chance to grow. Pick something that excites you. It could be learning to play the guitar, starting a garden, coding, cooking, or anything that makes you tick. The key here is to choose something that challenges you and makes you feel accomplished. It's not just about making money. It's about building yourself up. 3. Positive power. As Seneca put it, what stands in the way becomes the way. Here's where you turn negatives into positives. Had people who didn't believe in you faced failures. Use these as fuel. Instead of being angry or sad, use these experiences to motivate yourself to do better. Think to yourself, I'm going to use this to improve my life. This isn't about revenge. It's about transformation. 4. The good list. Write down all the qualities you think a great person should have. Maybe it's being courageous, thoughtful, patient or resilient. Keep this list somewhere you can see it every day. It will remind you of the person you are working towards becoming. When you find yourself slipping, look at the list. It's a roadmap to becoming the best version of yourself. 5. Practice gratitude. As Epictetus put it, do not spoil what you have by desiring what you have not. Remember that what you now have was once among the things you only hoped for. Every day, find something to be thankful for. It could be as simple as a sunny day, a good meal, or a call from a friend. Gratitude turns what we have into enough and more. It shifts your focus from what's missing to what's present. 6. Stay consistent. Marcus Aurelius once said, Success is the product of daily habits, not once-in-a-lifetime transformations. Change doesn't happen overnight. It's about small steps every day. Stay consistent with your quiet time. Keep learning. Keep using your experiences positively and keep checking your good list. Consistency is key. 7. Share your journey. In line with the stoic practice of contributing to the common good, when you feel prepared, share your experiences with others. 
Stoicism teaches us the value of community and the importance of supporting one another. By sharing your story, you not only solidify your own learning, but also provide guidance and inspiration to others. This act of sharing is not about boasting of your achievements, but about humbly offering insights from your journey. Remember, just as you have learned from the teachings of great Stoic philosophers like Marcus Aurelius and Seneca, your experiences could provide valuable lessons to others. 8. Cultivate Resilience As the Stoics remind us, it's not what happens to us, but how we react that defines our character. In your comeback journey, focus on building resilience. This means accepting what cannot be changed and finding the strength to face adversity head on. Resilience is like a muscle. The more you work on it, the stronger it becomes. Each time you overcome a hurdle, you're not just moving past a challenge, you're building a stronger, more resilient self. 9. Balance Emotions with Logic Stoicism teaches the importance of balancing emotions with reason. It's natural to feel strong emotions, but don't let them control your actions. Instead, use logic and reason to guide your decisions. When faced with a setback, instead of reacting impulsively, take a step back. Analyze the situation calmly and rationally. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this? And how can I handle this better? This approach will not only lead to better decision-making, but also to a more peaceful and controlled life. 10. Set realistic goals. These goals should align with your values and the person you want to become. Break them down into smaller, manageable tasks and work on them consistently. Remember, Stoicism is about focusing on the process, not just the outcome. Celebrate your progress, no matter how small, and remember that each step forward is a step towards the person you want to be. As you work towards these goals, keep in mind the stoic principle of focusing on what's within your control and letting go of what isn't. This will help you maintain peace of mind and stay motivated on your path to making the greatest comeback of your life. Remember, the road to being your best self isn't about impressing others. It's about building yourself up from the inside out. It's about control, focusing on what you can change and letting go of what you can't. It's a journey of self-discovery, growth, and ultimately, finding peace and happiness within yourself. You've got the strength to change your life. Start with small steps, keep your eyes on your goals, and believe in yourself. Soon, you'll be amazed at how far you've come, and maybe, just maybe, those who doubted you will see how incredible you truly are.